kind of many money is over the years in the tools that we used to have for us, but here we are, and that's perfect. So all you need to do yoga is to breathe. So wherever you are, this is gonna be just like a medium um, level, just a quick flow. And I wanna show you this for all the new people. This is called a evolutionhealth.com um, fit stand. I got it from Amazon like years ago, but this is how I teach people to do headstands to invert themselves as well how I invert people that um, we're not going to be implicating the shoulders, the neck, or thoracic spine to go upside down. So there's a lot of benefits to that. Before I show you that, and it's super um, affordable, I think it's like 35 bucks. But I'm gonna warm up with a cat flow, which you're probably familiar with. Let's start <clears throat> with the basics. Fingers very wide. <clears throat> All these little details come together to make a very important big yoga picture experience for you. I want you to cultivate, um, and it helps me sustain my practice that's my own thing, you know what I mean? So spread your fingers as wide as they'll go. Fan them out a little bit. Have your wrists in a line with your shoulders. No, no, baby, no, no. And then place your hands, wrists below the shoulders, knees below the hips. If this is your first time doing this and or your wrists are sensitive, place them forward. So a little bit more forward, less pressure on the wrist. But one thing we do by actively engaging our super widespread fingers that are in contact with the floor of the mat is alleviate any possible wrist stress or extra tension by firing up those fingertips, having very strong hands, like a hole in your hand, like a hollow, I don't know if I'm trying to use that one, but you know what I mean? You're pushing down so hard that, that you can actually make sort of a hole, like a arch in your hand. That's the word I was looking for. We're going to let the breath move the body. Feel your knees on the floor. They should be beneath, beneath your hips. Flat back. Let's remember the neck is an extension of the spine. So we're just going to look down. Breathe in very deep. Let your belly get big. Exhale, complete, pull the belly in. Make sure all the air comes out. Inhale through your nose, soften your face more, smile. Exhale through the mouth, make sure all the air comes out. Let that movement, shall we? Drop your belly, let your heart lead. Breathe in, squeeze your elbows towards your ribs. So you're stretching your stomach here. Exhale, push the mat away, drop your head, let your head get long like a mad cat. Stretch the back a little and empty the lungs completely. So find your rhythm, find your breath. This is the cat cow flow, five more. Drop the belly, inhale, heart forward. I always feel like if it feels good to move around, move around. Exhale, the spine towards the sky, head low, empty the lungs. Start to feel that moving meditation that comes with letting the breath move the body. Inhale, deeper. Let the movement even last longer. Explore it more. Exhale, more complete -er. All right, now we've got more of a rhythm. Let's start five on our own now. Inhale, let's drop the belly. Exhale, is round your spine.
even so deep. And let the next exhale be child's pose. Anatomically, your hips go back towards your heels. Spread your knees a little bit wide and have your head low. And then you're like that. Ah. Think of an observer. Okay, so how this works is like this. Uh, if you're never planning, like if it's never going to be smart for you to go upside down, this is great. If you're working on building your headstand, which is all core strength, fantastic. You would just kind of play with. I'm trying to get in between those two paintings. So you can play with balancing, right? Oh no, that feels good. And it's like natural Botox, ah, how do you know? And then you can rest and just have, you can rest your feet on the wall, stop with babushki, and just like feel all the benefits of inversion without the, um, possibility of straining, stressing your neck or your shoulders, etc. <sighs> Comprende? I wonder if Denise ever got hers. Really though, you can feel the fresh blood flow to the brain. I want to do these tummy crunches that I usually do, but I feel like my butt's going to hit the painting. <laughs> but I thought about this, like, I feel like everybody needs this to go upside down safely. And like, you know, it's importante. <laughs> Excuse me, on the beam. I would, um, I would say probably put it more like on like a flat wall. Okie dokie. I'm going to get to down the downward dog video, but it's all about I'm going to have the space. So look at this, Denise. Oh, sorry, Pushki. Look at this, Denise. If the pose starts at my fingers, like super wide spread active fingers, and then everything is about length. Remember, external rotation of the hand, slight internal rotation of the, of the the forearms, that's just for stabili stabilization. Massive external rotation of your shoulders, dropping your head length all through the spine, then that slight tilt at the top of the tailbone, driving the heels down. <laughs> I love you guys. Bye.